Hi, and welcome to Bee Mats. Our focus is on removal of excess nutrients from water. Nitrogen and phosphorus are critical ingredients used in fertilizers for agriculture and landscapes. Application by inexperienced homeowners and overscheduled lawn maintenance companies can cause runoff into our waterways, which leads to algae blooms and infestation by hydrilla and other nuisance species. Applications of herbicides like copper sulfate may clear the water column, but lead to nutrient recycling and future problems. Aquatic plants provide a natural filter, like in this created wetland or this littoral shelf planting. Plants trap and retain nutrients in their tissues, but water fluctuations may either flood littoral shelf plantings or leave them high and dry, making them ineffective. Bee mats suspend aquatic plants in the water column and increase the biologically active root zone by using aerated pots. Nitrogen and phosphorus uptake is maximized using bee mats. As plants grow, nutrients are stored in their tissues. When the plants are periodically removed, the nutrients are also removed from the aquatic ecosystem. Bee mats are initially planted with seedlings to maximize their potential for nutrient uptake, since nutrient removal is proportional to increased biomass. Mats can be fabricated into various shapes, and planting design can include aesthetics as well as nutrient removal. Here are some examples of what our islands look like in action. As we said before, plants store nutrients, but this step of the process is key. We remove nutrient-rich plants periodically to be composted, and the mats and containers are reused. Then new young plants are installed for the next round of nutrient removal. Ongoing research by Clemson University includes a small pond, as well as replicate tank studies, to assess nutrient removal by bee mats under controlled conditions. Inputs are closely monitored, while outputs are measured during plant growth. Plant species were selected for their filtration ability. Roots and shoots were analyzed for comparable uptake rates. Dr. Sarah White's results showed an average of 74% nitrogen removal and 69% phosphorus removal. Field studies are being conducted at Deep Creek near Hastings, at Mulock Creek in Bonita Springs, in a DOT retention pond in New Smyrna Beach, 10 mile filter marsh at Fort Myers, and at Beeman's Nursery in New Smyrna Beach. We have several ways to install bee mats, including in water planting, by trailer launch, or with crane placement. Our hanging root zone provides habitat for fish, which attracts wading birds of several species. We appreciate your time and hope you enjoyed our presentation. For more information, please visit our website at www.bmats.com.